Greetings of the day, my dear children. In today's English class, we'll learn about transitive and intransitive verbs, which is on your English Grammar Book 5, page number 25 to 30. In today's class, we'll define transitive and intransitive verbs and also identify them in sentences. So let's start and have a recap of what we already have learned in the previous class. See, we learned that all verbs do not have objects, but those that have objects answer the questions like whom and what, right? For example, John will carry the watering can. So this answer, this, if you make a question, what John will carry what and whom? So it answers the question what? John will carry the watering can. So watering can is the object of the verb will carry, right? In the same way, Sarah is digging a small pit. Sarah is digging what? Sarah is digging a small pit. So, so the pit is the object of the verb is digging. She liked roses. What did she like? She liked what? The roses. So the noun roses is the object of the verb liked. So there are some verbs that have objects but not all of them have objects which we'll learn in some time, right? So moving on, there are two types of verbs. Action verbs come under two categories. One is transitive verbs, another is intransitive verbs. So we'll start with the transitive verbs. So transitive verb is that verb that has an object, right? That receives the action to complete its meaning in the sentence. As I told you in the previous class, object is a noun or a noun phrase that is affected by the action of the verb. So a transitive verb has that object that is affected by the action of the verb, right? A tra transitive verb takes a direct object. We already know about direct and indirect objects. In a sentence, having a transitive verb, the subject does the action and direct object re receives it. So, again, the object is a noun or a noun phrase that is affected by the action of verb. The action of verb is shown on the object. Object receives it. The action starts from the subject and ends at the object. So, the object is at the receiving end, right? The object must be somebody or something different from the subject. So, object is different from the subject. So, we can easily identify a transitive verb it if it has an object. Now, example. John will carry the watering can. We'll again use the same example. So, what is the verb here? Carry. So, watering can is the object. John will carry. Carry what? The watering can. So, it's answering the question, what? Sarah is digging the small pit. Again, what is she digging? A small pit. So, it has objects. The action is being received by the object. She liked roses. Again, what did she like? She liked roses. So, all these above sentences give verbs as transitive verbs. These are transitive verbs. Carry, digging, liked because they are received by the objects like watering can, small pit and roses, right? Moving on to the intransitive verbs. Now you'll understand it better because you can compare now. A verb which does not have an object add to receive the action. Intransitive verbs do not have object to receive the action, to complete its meaning. So they are complete without object also. They do not have object at the receiving end. The intransitive verbs tell us something about the subject itself. It does not involve the object, but we have more information about the subject only with the help of the verb. The action described by intransitive verb affects the subject itself. It does not affect any person or thing. So, whatever effect it has, it has on the subject. It is not carried forward to the object. The object is missing in the intransitive verbs. So, you'll understand it better with the help of examples. For example, John cried. So, the, what is the action here? Action of crying. John is crying or John cried. So the action of crying affects the subject only. So, the object is not involved here, right? So, John cried. It is affecting John only. The object is not here and the sentence is complete and makes 
sense john cried what or whom it does not answer any of these so the there is no object the action is uh, being received by the subject only the object is not here the verb cried therefore has no object hence it is an intransitive verb so if a verb has no object it is an intransitive verb the vase is beautiful what is beautiful the vase is beautiful so it is giving us information about the vase only nothing is been said about the object right so the verb simply tells us what a thing is the vase is what it is beautiful right so the word beautiful tells us more about the subject only it is not uh, carrying to the object nothing else is said whatever is said it is said about the subject itself which is the vase right it does not refer to a person or a thing different from the subject it is referring back to the subject only there is no object hence it is a it is an intransitive verb perfect so uh, i think this should be clear so whatever i we learned just i'll try to give you a quick recap of what we learned we learned today that the intransitive verb tells us something about the subject itself the action described by the intransitive verb affects the subject itself it does, it does not affect any other person or thing that is different from the subject right and the transitive verb takes the direct object right in a sentence having a transitive verb the subject does the action of the direct object and receives the action the action starts from the sub subject and ends in the ends with the object unlike the intransitive verb so this is what we learned today listen to the video a couple of times go through the exercises and understand the concept of object very nicely because if you can identify the object you will understand and easily identify the transitive and intransitive verbs i hope it is clear thank you have a good day